Good afternoon, everybody. Spare change papers for sale. With these papers, we help the homeless, we help the hunger. It also helps me out. Spare change news uh, has vendors sell the paper, and our vendors are individuals who are either housing insecure or they're homeless. And one of the things that was very apparent to us is that they had many legal questions and they did not have resources. I think everybody's gonna grab something. <laughs> you want one? Of course. Hand up. These are yours to keep. We're all students at the Harvard Law School Transactional Law Clinics and part of the Community Enterprise Project. We wanted to introduce you to this legal resource that we've been working on putting together for you. Um, if you want to open it up and look at the table of contents on pages two and three. After talking with Catherine and meeting with her and learning um, a little bit about Spare Change News, um, we began to sort of develop a guide that would help those Spare Change News vendors um, who are selling in the Boston metropolitan area. Each of you, when you're doing business on your own, selling Spare Change newspapers, you're running a business. You're a sole proprietor. We have a lot of information about personal and business finance, which includes taxes. Because we are a transactional law clinic, we had to approach the vendor's needs from a business-focused perspective, but we were aware of the fact that those vendors also face a lot of issues outside of their work with Spare Change News, so part of the resources that we included in the guide is sort of a reference to other service providers and organizations in the Boston and Cambridge area that they might be able to turn to for help with different issues. I can't explain how hard it is when you see uh, these vendors who really are trying to improve their lives to see them feel so afraid that if they make one mistake they're going to be homeless again or uh, some terrible consequence is going to happen. Feeling like uh, that they have you guys on their side, I think it's just outstanding because, you know, they feel like, well, Harvard Law has our back now. I was excited for it because it would be, it would, I, I thought it would benefit us greatly. So I loved working with these guys. Um, it was uh, a good experience, good experience. The Spare Change News Partnership was actually proposed by a couple of students a year or so ago who submitted a proposal at the end of the semester that, hey, I think this would be a really great project for us to work on. There are all sorts of clients that students will have a mix of being exposed to over the course of a semester. The students are able to give them personalized, one-on-one -on -one attention with their supervising attorney. And it really touches the students um, that they've had the ability to, to make an impact on someone's life. I've been in Boston for three years and Spare Change really is, I think, a Boston institution. You see the vendors everywhere if you live in this area. And it was such a privilege to actually get to know those people on a personal basis. Through the discussions, you just realize that these are some of the more entrepreneurial like individuals that I've ever encountered. Um, they have goals, they have dreams, they have aspirations. and. All they need is just a little bit, a tiny bit of help. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Not much. Well, my name is Clifton Fitzgerald, and um, I'm originally from Cambridge, but I've moved around a lot from Boston, on and on. I like being outdoors a lot. I used to hold a sign, and um, I had low self-esteem just holding that sign. And uh, when I started working with this paper, knowing it's a vendor license, knowing um, I'm paying taxes, it's a job, I feel a lot better. We are introducing a new program this summer called our Young Entrepreneur Program. And, our, and we are really, really excited to have this manual as a resource. Um, we're hoping that this will help uh, into, you know, younger individuals, specifically in the 18 to 24 age group, to, um, who, who didn't really have a lot of opportunities to network or educational opportunities, to think about work, um, especially for those who are pretty ambitious uh, outside of the low-wage service job sector. We're always looking to uh, let people know that we exist out in the area so that they can bring to us and their ideas, their needs, and we try to be responsive to wherever the needs are. Uh, we try to be there. It's being changed, paid for sale.